Let's start in North Africa, where Libya's parliament passed a law banning officials from the Gaddafi era from holding political office on Sunday. The vote, which took place in the General National Congress, came a week after militias backing the political isolation law besieged the ministries of justice and foreign affairs, vowing to continue until that bill had been passed into law. Now, the law, which some are calling too vague, could now affect senior members of Libya's government, including the country's own prime minister, Ali Zaydan. Libya's political shake-up is for many a cause for celebration. Thousands took to the streets of the capital Tripoli in support of the new law, which bans officials from government posts who served under ousted leader Muammar Gaddafi during his more than 40-year rule. Many waved the country's new flag, the symbol of the rebel fighters during the 2011 eight-month civil war. What we want from the General Congress is to accept the political isolation law and make it valid from September 1969. Even if they defected from the former regime, we tell them, thank you, but we need new people to run the state, not the same old people. The historic vote comes at a time when the government's struggling to rein in rogue militias and politicians are grappling with a weak central government. Its backers say it's necessary to complete the 2011 revolution. This law is to rebuild a new state. It will also create a new political environment apart from the thinking of the former regime. Libya's General National Congress, its highest political authority, voted overwhelmingly in favor of the law. Notably absent from the vote, however, was the head of Congress, Mohamed El Magarif, who could be banned under it. Its critics say the law is too broad, with vague wording that could force out people like Prime Minister Ali Zidane, who held minor posts during Gaddafi's rule. Many officials also played a key role in the uprising that overthrew Gaddafi. The political isolation law is welcomed by many, but it does inject a new dose of uncertainty into Libyan politics during a still fragile transition and could push many of the country's new leaders out of office. Kamadine Logan, CCTV.